Hi guys, today I am going to show uh, how to update an iOS app in App Store via iTunes Connect. First you need to log into your App Store Connect account with your iCloud ID. And here you can see your apps. Go to My Apps, then select your app which you want to update. This my here it's my Star Cinema, and now go to Versions or Platform, and select iOS. Here you can see the version number. Uh, if there is any change in the version number you need to update the correct version number over here you tap open the X code and select the proper version code from the X code open the status map from X code application Here it's 2.4. You can see, uh, get that information from general tab. Copy that and paste it in the version number column and create the new version. And make sure you have updated what's new in this new version so we need to type what all the updates we have made here I have added videos to our smart cinema app that is a review I mean the trailers we have added in this videos so I'm just updating these videos is added and some big bug fixes also there like uh, in the loading screen there are some errors and we have fixed it and speed improvement also there so I am updating with all the updations we have done in the version 2.4 and here is a promotional test so we have to include the information about the app and we need to add our keywords and support url and description and all those things so first uh, we need to update all the things We need to give the correct promotional test so that when someone search on the app store you will get the correct app. So we are updating the box office collection reports of films and latest reviews and also we include uh, latest trailers and all. And after that we need to select the build uh, which one is the correct one that is 2.4 is the last updated version. So we need to select the 2.4 and yeah selected and we need to update it with, with Xcode to the uh, App Store Connect and all these details we have filled with uh, the version 2.1 we have updated all these details so we, we don't need to fill all that for updating that and make sure you have updated all the screenshots uh, if it is working only on iPhone, only iPhone screenshot and if it is working on iPad also, we need to give the iPad screenshot also and after that save it. Yeah, it's saved. And you can see the uh, submit for review option is there. Click on that.
yeah now it's submitting and export comments because I didn't change anything so now uh, select it as now and advertising yeah, I'm using Google Adsense in this that's the add more by I'm using so you need to select yes and so ads within the app tick on the limit add settings in iOS and accept that and again go to the submit yeah now it's waiting for review Uh, when we give for a review it will show uh, we will get a mail regarding that uh, in your uh, iCloud account it's uh, here I got it like waiting for review and it's the app version is 2.4 it's for waiting for review and uh, and at the time we have given for uh, I mean for review and after that after few hours it changed to uh, in review that is uh, version 2.4 it's in interview you can see that and after one day I got an approval from this app it's approved in the app store version is 2.4 and you can check it here Yes, it's approved. You can see it's new version is 2.4. It's updated on first number and video books. And what these are all the things we have given. And yeah, it's done. And you can check your iTunes Connect. There also it's 2.4. It's ready for sale. And this is how we are updating an app. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.